Minecraft has a lot of mobs, from keto lace that will help you out and follow you around, to a terrifying beast called the Warden that will do anything in its power to defend its ancient city. Today, we'll be going over some of the most insane Minecraft 1.19 mob facts. Starting off with the fact that if you didn't know, the Warden has multiple concept art that was originally going to be what the beast would have looked like. From concept art looking like a younger brother of the Wither, to nether portals, to some of the most terrifying and cursed things I've ever seen. Personally, if I saw this thing in my cave, I, I would just quit the game. Another fact about the Warden is that it has had multiple names. For example, in the early stages of the game, it was meant to be called the Shade, the Stalker, and the Hollowed. Though, some of these names were scrapped due to various reasons, due to some of the designs being a bit too goofy and others being a bit too creepy for the game. Though, speaking of names, the Warden's real name is actually William, which was the name given to the creature due to someone spelling Warden wrong. Anyways, let's get out of this deep dark cave and move on to a nicer mob, that being the Allay. If you don't already know, the Allay is the opposite result of a Vex, with the word allay meaning to relieve or alleviate, which contrasts the vex, which means to anger or worry. Although there has already been some talk saying that the allay and vex have some lore with each other, and I think this definitely confirms if the two have some beef. The allay also has concept art just like the warden, though not as interesting in my opinion. In my opinion, the old allay concepts literally just look like a floating box, and also there is going to be a possibility that it was going to be a different color as well. It was also going to have particles somewhat similar to the blaze, though personally in my opinion, I think the allay we got today is definitely the better option and is much cuter and cooler and also just a really cool companion. You know what would also be cool? If you subscribe and leave a like. I mean, you're already this far into watching the video and help me out a ton. Most of you guys watching aren't even subscribed, so if you could, it'd mean a lot. Thanks again for watching, by the way. Speaking of another mob that was released in 1.19, the frog is quite the interesting mob. Many frogs variants are based off of frogs in real life, with the warm frog being based off the gray foam nest tree frog, which is a frog that is native to Africa, with the temperate frog being being based off of brown bullfrogs. Also originally, frogs are going to be able to eat fireflies, which was teased a part of the 1.19 update, though this ended up being removed, because if you don't know, frogs are actually poisonous to fireflies in real life. Personally, I just think they should have made it so frogs, you know, couldn't eat fireflies so they could be in the game, but it's whatever. Because of this, they made it so frogs can instead actually eat small slimes and small magma cubes. Hopefully someday we can get fireflies as it's really easy to get them in the game and it should be a super easy fix. Here's also also some concept art for the frog. Although not as interesting as the two other mobs we talked in this video, it's still pretty interesting to see what the frog would have actually looked like. Anyways, I think it's time we switch over to the axolotl. Although not being introduced in 1.19, it has a pretty interesting relationship with one of the mobs introduced in 1.19, that being the warden. You see, there's a rumor that the axolotl and the warden are actually somewhat related. Although it may sound absurd, hear me out. In the older concept art of when the warden was being added with the axolotl, it could be found that if you invert the colors of the image, you can reveal that the two mobs flip colors, with the axolotl having the warden's colors and the warden having the axolotl colors. But the thing that really does prove that they are related in some way is that the two mobs won't attack each other in very early versions of the 1.19 update, while the warden would attack every single mob. And I kind of believe it because the warden and the axolotl kind of both have fins that look pretty similar. Another thing is that in an update log in the game, it said that the axolotl and warden are not what they seem in a secret enchantment language. And if that doesn't say anything, I don't know what does. But hopefully the axolotl has nothing up its sleeve and hopefully this is just a big coincidence. Speaking of the warden, let's go back to the ancient city and talk about the mysterious portal-like structure that's in the middle of the city. You can see this portal definitely has something to do with the warden, and possibly a new dimension in the future. Very early when the deep dark was first added, one of the structures that looks very closely to this portal was actually named after, well, a portal. Which pretty much confirms that, you know, this middle thing is definitely a portal. Though later on it was actually removed. What I think this portal means is that in a future update, this portal will actually open, and it will reveal a full-on warden dimension and the lore behind the warden. A full-on world with filled with wardens and warden-like creatures, which would be absolutely terrifying, and could be something that we could see in a future update. Another thing about the warden and its surroundings is that its relationship to Disc 5. You see, Disc 5 is a part of the story of someone being chased by a warden, but it could also be someone entering a portal and entering the secret warden dimension that we were talking about. Take a listen. Yeah, this disc is definitely pretty terrifying, but obviously I think we could definitely tell that in a future update, there should be a brand new dimension that we should be seeing some new mobs and also many, many wardens. Going back to the topic of allays, did you know that originally instead of the little fella spawning in Woodland Mansions and Pillager Outposts, 
they were just going to spawn naturally in forest biomes, which doesn't make too much sense at first, but in a way, I can see it as a helpful forest spirit. The reason why they switched it is because they wanted to highlight the companionship with the light and the player, which makes sense because you'd be saving the little guy and then he'd be your best friend for life. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for the recent support as it means the world, and this channel has been going crazy. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed the video as it's free and it helps me out a lot. Anyways, have a good day.